Dagfetek, what camera are you using these days? Let me know in the comments. Today I'm talking about three different ways to shoot time lapses using the Canon EOS R series camera. Now in this video I'm using the R5 which is what I'm filming on currently but these principles will apply to other series R as well, other R series like the RP or the R or the R6 etc. Before we begin a quick disclaimer this camera and lens has been provided to me by Canon UK in exchange for nothing it's just a loaner and I had the same situation in Australia so any footage you see was shot on a loaner camera. Camera. They have had zero input on this video whatsoever. So let's begin. Now the first way to shoot time lapses with the EOS R, the R5, the RP or whatever camera you are using is using the built-in intervalometer. You will find that in the red menu and it allows you to dial in a couple of settings. Firstly your interval which can range quite a bit as you can see here but I on average would shoot with a three second interval and using sadly only two digits it allows you to dial in zero shots aka infinite shots the camera will keep shooting until you turn it off or you can dial up to 99 photos which I just wish there was four digits here because you want to dial in like a thousand frames and I've been asking this for years I really want to see that in that menu but let's move on you can use this shooting mode in manual mode when there is no change in lighting so like a daytime and nighttime or an astro shot for example or when the light is changing out there aka a holy grail sunset sunrise situation you could start shooting in aperture priority mode and then you fix that exposure flickering as the sun goes down using LR time lapse which I've got many videos about here obviously that is one method of shooting with the Canon EOS R what is another method well this one doesn't allow you to save the RAW and the JPEG files as we had in the previous method but what it does do is it renders a video file in camera so when you switch to video mode you can video mood, video mode, you can enable time-lapse video shooting where it actually captures in up to 8K resolution and that's pretty cool. It captures video frames and then stitches them together in camera and in this mode when you shoot in aperture priority and auto ISO it allows you to set the auto exposure each frame where it gradually will decrease or increase the exposure for your shot resulting in holy grail shots straight out of camera which is lovely but what I would love to see here is the option to save a RAW or a JPEG file on the side at the same time because sometimes you want to edit them yourself, right? Now there's a third way of shooting time lapses with the EOS R series and that is of course using an external remote. Now I've made quite a few videos about time lapse remotes, for example the LR Time Lapse Pro Timer 3 or a video about different price categories for remotes but that is my preferred way of shooting because I'm in control I'm telling this remote to tell the camera what to do so you'll most often find me using an external remote because that's just the way to go if you want to learn more about why I do it that way and why most pros do it that way you can check out the ultimate time-lapse course which is my paid course or you can check out my free ebooks one's about time-lapse one's about hyperlapse you can download them down below you enter my newsletter as well which has monthly giveaways i gave away a gopro hero 10 last month which is fantastic there are many more to come so check that out if you have any questions please drop them down below i'll try and get back to you and that's pretty much it subscribe if you haven't already i don't know if you've got to do those reminders still i feel like hopefully i've earned your subscription by now but we'll see thanks for watching may your skies be filled with fluffy clouds. Bye.